Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. We're going to break free from talking about Portia for a minute or two and we're going to talk about another celebrity. So welcome back to another segment of Why are You Telling My Business? Don't be telling my business. Why? Because I can, can, and I can, can, I can, can, and I will. We're going to be talking about Steve Harvey buying Tyler Perry's old mansion. Okay, yes, him and Marjorie have found themselves Atlanteans, okay, from what OK Magazine is telling us. And like I said, they're always here visiting uh, around the area. He did some business with Chick-fil-A uh, industry, um, I guess donating money to causes that Chick-fil-A was involved in. And he was definitely seen here this past summer. Uh, by one of my son-in-law's um, eye people. Uh, he goes and get his eyes examined in the Square of Decatur here in Georgia. And she was telling us both how she had saw Steve Harvey and his entourage up the street at this local restaurant in the Village Square over there in Decatur. The upper part of Decatur, not the other part of Decatur. Uh, and he was with his entourage and they had sat and had lunch at this little bistro and stuff and he didn't really seem approachable because he had a lot of burly uh, big you know security guard men around him and I kind of can get that he's not um, a fan f favorite he, he don't like to be talked to because he, I think um, a lot of controversy negative was on him at the top of the last year about him not wanting the people to look him in the eye and he was trying to start um uh, some kind of programming i don't know if it was another sitcom show or whatnot but it fell through and he didn't want to answer to some of his old staff and about why they weren't coming on to his new projects and this that and the third but it, it was a hot mess he, he he too big for his britches too but i thought i would just tell y'all that this man uh bought uh tyler perry's old mansion and uh actually i think he made this like a studio where he was taping some of his shows out of that mansion Cause that's pretty much what um tyler perry does he gets so much land so much acres of land that he can have so many different projects meaning his home his theaters his uh show pieces where he makes films out of he just buys up a whole lot of land and put everything on one spot so and he makes home uh, he brings entertainment to his home where he definitely don't really have to go out. Hell, he probably have a shopping mall in one of his mansions. But we don't know. Okay, it just is what it is. Uh, this is how the rich and famous get down. Not ordinary people. So if you strive to be a part of that industry, you're going to have to do a lot of strange things for this type of atmosphere to be living in that type of environment. I'm just saying. Okay, but we go on into a write-up that OK Magazine had put out on the funny man, Steve Harvey, which I really don't think he's funny, but it's okay. But it was uh, written up on the 9th uh, of January, and it goes in to say, um, tour Steve Harvey's $20 million mansion uh, that's filled with mini golf room, game room, and all the above. Okay, I don't know why my phone is scrolling. Um, but it's here in Atlanta. And that's why we continue to have this upsurge of traffic. Because a lot of heavy hitters, a lot of movie stars uh, in the industry are moving here. And it's just getting on my nerves. Okay, I'm like, go somewhere else. Go to space. Stop populating Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, but it is what it is. People do what they want to do. They move where they want to move. And it just is what it is. Okay. More traffic and pollution for us. Hoo-wee. Okay. It says, uh, one look at these gorgeous Georgia digs. And it's clear things are going just peachy for Steve Harvey. The family feud, funny man, 64 years old, purchased the Atlanta estate, formerly owned by multi uh, millionaire Tyler Perry in early 2020 for 15 million. Since then, he's been settling into the spread nicely with his wife Marjorie. 
and enjoying frequent visits from his seven children and seven grandchildren. With 35,000 square feet at their disposal, there's certainly enough space for the whole squad, who frequently gather for holidays and lively weekend get-togethers at the seven-bedroom, nine-and-a-half bath mansion. Like, who cleaned the bottom toilets, okay? But anyway, there's also plenty to keep them entertained. Uh, they're set on a 17-acre manicure lawns and uh, Prisquet Gardens, the stunning spread, boasts a tennis court, half baseball court, mini golf, a giant trampoline, and a runaway for a landing remote control planes. Okay. There's even more fun to be had inside with a fully equipped gym, movie theater, wine cellar, bar, and game room complete with a pool table, football, a foosball, and air hockey. Survey says, total dream home. And it's just telling you to basically scroll through, you know, what I already put up for visuals to let y'all know. It, it kind of like a church cathedral, and it kind of misses that. I guess you have to be very well up in the money to appreciate that type of scenery. But anyway, it just is what it is. Um, and it says, Perry unloaded the pro plush property to a televangist, David Turner for 17.5 million to the most expensive residential sale in Atlanta's history who then sold it to Steve Harvey. So Steve Harvey bought it from another person that had it lived in it or probably just rented it out as an Airbnb. Uh, but he was a televangelist meaning a religious man who you know did most of his work on television seducing people to uh, I guess be a part of his church organization or whatnot, but yeah, Steve bought it from him, huh? Huh? Okay, and it says hop to it. The group gathered for an Easter portrait completed with bunnies on an outdoor staircase. I didn't capture that scene for you all. Uh, one of the former living spaces is bathed in natural uh, light thanks to the high uh, sky. Of the hot sky high windows, who child they are high, all right. And I'm like, who cleans those windows? Then I gave y'all a picture of that. I also gave y'all a picture of the a grand entrance where guests are greeted by a double staircase and crystal chandelier. That's also in there, and it talks about uh, their daughter Lori. Uh, she redecorated uh, the living room, which now boasts of furry gray and gold seating tiles, floors, and moody paintings. Um, and that's pretty much it. And it was a guest room that I did give y'all that was in like lime green or mint green. Uh, it was the guest room. It was outfitted with a canopy bed, charming vanity, and cozy seating. So I guess if you're one of um, Steve Harvey's guests and you like mint green, he would put you up in that room. Then they had like a, I think I just saw that picture. Uh, when the club meets the office, working from home is breezy in this snazzy space. That was with the zebra leopard carpeting and the swirl staircase. Um, they show, I gave you a picture of that. Um... And it, I mean, it's really a, a gorgeous place. Very gorgeous place that they found themselves in. Their own private paradise. The 70,000 gallon infinity edge swimming pool. That's that middle thing in the, um, that blue middle centerpiece. That's the 70,000 gallon infinity pool. Has a lot of space, accessible VI stone path. I don't know who's going to be all up in there. But that is a, a very high maintenance house to be taken care of. But I thought I would just give y'all a break. Uh, to let y'all see how the rich and famous are living down here in Atlanta. Uh, and hopefully if you ascribe to <laughs> living in something that big. Okay, now that's a mansion. You know, we always talking about Portia and Simon and the mansion he's trying to be a part of. Shit. That's four mansions on top of that one mansion he called himself in a mansion. And when you're talking about acres of land, that's what I'm talking about. If you're going to go be dream high, get into something like that. Okay? And have the money to maintain properties such as that. Because it's definitely wealth. 
you get tired of it or you don't want to pay the up maintenance cost to keep it up then sell it and if you kept it in very well maintained uh uh occupancy far as everything's been kept and maintained according to the area and you've done more renovation just drives up property value that'll be a little nice nest egg for you i don't know why uh steve brought something that expensive yeah damn he's 64 years old right he should be settling down to something uh, definitely a lot more a lot lesser but with him having seven grandkids and seven children i guess they all can come live with him and they can figure out a way of paying you know when he's dead and gone because i like oh he too old you know what I'm saying? I think Marjorie's younger than him, so she might be able... Well, she might do a nene. Once Steve passes, she'll sell all that shit and go live in a condo somewhere. And just tour the world. You know, see if what it is. But that's probably why he was over there in Dubai. You know, doing some strange things for some change, you know? And coming back solidifying this well-to-do mansion. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just running my mouth over here. But I just want to let y'all take a gander on Steve's little plush mansion. A mega mansion that he's selling in with his wife. I'm like, I hope them kids come see him often. Because how him and Marjorie are going to be in that big ass house by themselves? Why are they in the middle part? Cause somebody else could be living on the outer part. You know what I'm saying? So got to have some security cameras down. Okay, and maybe they got some room for the security people to stay too. Okay, because that, that, that kind of house would scare the hell out of me. Especially when it get dog. I'd be like, where, where that sound come from? Hell, it take me about 30 minutes to go find out where it came from. <laughs> but Steve got it all. He living a life. He living a life down here. Okay, but that's all I had. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all enjoyed the visuals that I gave you of Steve's mansion he has here in Atlanta, Georgia. Go ahead and do your thing, Steve. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.